Anybody that has any kind of, I don't know, I'll say feeling or, or, or heart in history, when you open that and you hear that creaking sound and you look inside, you, just, you can almost picture him sitting in the wheelchair. You kind of get goosebumps a little bit. Beyond the boats and ships docked in the harbor and the fishermen heading out into the chop tank, tucked behind the fountain, sitting unassumingly in the park, is this steel cylinder with a padlocked metal door. In front sits this plaque featuring the 32nd president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. The cylinder is a smokestack that came from Roosevelt's personal yacht, the USS Potomac. Well, at least it looked like a smokestack. One of the smokestacks they converted into a elevator shaft because FDR was in a wheelchair. Scott Fitzhugh is one of the caretakers of this piece of history, and this wasn't an elevator by today's standards. FDR would be inside this smokestack and pull himself up and down with a rope and pulley system. The ship was built for FDR and would often be left in Cambridge for the president to use on retreats and vacations. There are plenty of photos with FDR on board the ship, including with Queen Elizabeth. FDR is not in a wheelchair in this photo, but is seen using a cane and holding on to a service member. Plus, there are a few historic photos of the smokestack elevator FDR would use. The stack was given to Cambridge as a gift, a presidential memento when the ship left town in 1960. Yeah, this is a one-off piece. There's, there's nothing else like it anywhere else in the world. And because of that, there are plans to make sure the smokestack shines again. Long Wharf being what it is today is kind of a focal point. It's kind of a, a place for people to come down and, and sit. Uh, and reflect, uh, have lunch, whatever. Uh, and it's just, uh, that's something we want to do, just kind of give it a little bit of a facelift, get it back working, uh, get the lights working on it so it gives it a true feel of what it really is. And what it is, is a time capsule sitting in the heart of Cambridge, providing visitors with a presidential peek into the past.